Hey everyone, uh, Andrew with Andrew Air Cool Technology. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update on uh, the cooling fans because I get a lot of interesting questions about uh, you know you know conditions it can withstand. So I've got a, a fan here that I've been using kind of for testing. Uh, it has actually a slight defect in uh, uh, the print, so it's a perfect candidate just to to use to torture test. So uh, done a couple of things uh, recently. Uh, one was just bake it in the oven at really, really high temperatures, pull it out, see how it does. Uh, it, you know, it did that just fine. But then maybe the most, it, and that's something that I kind of expected, you know, a lot of people to be interested in. Um, it, you know, shows no ill effects to that testing whatsoever, as you can see, um, looks fine. But someone asked about uh, sub-zero temperatures, what would it happen in sub-zero temperatures? And I really couldn't give them, you know, an answer other than I think it'll be fine. I don't think it would cause any problems at all. Um, and of course, you can't test that by like sticking it in a freezer because <laughs> freezers aren't sub-zero, right? So in terms of temperature. So, um, uh, so uh, I took advantage of the recent weather that we've been having. It was minus uh, 14, minus 13 the last two nights uh, in a row. And so I put this thing outside in the snow um, and, uh, you know, picked it up this morning to see, uh, you know, if it had any ill effects and whether or not taking it from the outside temperature, it was probably, I think it was about five degrees above zero when I actually grabbed it this morning uh, and, you know, brought it inside into a warm house to see, you know, does that, you know, does that massive temperature change you know, cause any issues as well. So let's say you're you're out there, you're driving in sub-zero temperatures, and you come into a warm, nice warm garage, right? And drive it in. Is that going to have any kind of real problem? Um, and so it basically showed no ill effects whatsoever. No cracking, no warping, no nothing. Thing had snow all 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 in it, etc. Um, and it was actually exposed to the actual temperatures were minus 13 and 14. The wind chills that it was sitting out in um, were um, probably in the minus 30 something range. I don't know the exact figure, but it was quite windy while this thing was outside. So that the temperatures were really, really low. So um, this morning the wind had died down. So it wasn't in uh, a wind chill this morning, but, uh, but no ill effects whatsoever in terms of the fan. It, it's exactly the same, no dimensional problems, no cracks. No, nothing, right? And this thing even got you know snow on it, so uh, it was kind of interesting. Um, and I'll show you a little picture of, of right after I uh, took it out of the weather uh, in in the video here, and uh, give you a chance to look at that. But you know, good news is basically you should be able to drive this thing in any weather, no matter how cold, no matter how hot, no matter what the temperatures are and it should survive without any issues at all. So just thought I'd give you that quick up update and uh, um, answer those couple of questions because uh, uh, people always answer, you know, ask interesting questions, I want to give answers. So, um, so we were able to do that uh, with this cold, really cold weather that we've been having. And so it was nice to be able to do that um, and uh, basically survive without any issues at all. So. So appreciate it, guys, for all the business and the interest in what I'm doing, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.